Hi everyone, uh, this is Natalia Mitterer from uh, the Certification Commission for Healthcare Interpreters, CCHI. I'm extremely excited to let you know that after several months of transitioning to a new testing vendor, CCHI is a proud client of Prometric, a testing company that administers exams uh, throughout the world. And uh, our testing for the written exam for the course AHI exam is opening on November 14th and you can schedule for this exam starting now. Scheduling in this new system is done online and I'm going to explain how to do it. First, you go to the Prometric site, prometric.com and you go to the test takers, find my exam. Here you just put CCHI and you're taken to the place, landing place about CCHI. One of the new uh, features of uh, this uh, system is the fact that uh, the tests are administered at Prometric testing centers, which have many other exams administered at. So scheduling a, is really important uh, that you uh, plan accordingly because if you want to reschedule your exam in less than 20, 30 days in advance, then you'll have to pay a $25 rescheduling fee to Prometric. Uh, also, if you are canceling your exam or rescheduling it less than five days, you'll have to pay a higher fee. And then if you don't show up or uh, are more than 10 minutes late, then you have to uh, pay the full exam fee. So that is new compared to what we've been doing before, but uh, this allows for the process to be uh, standard and uh, assured that everybody has a spot at the location next nearest to them. So uh, from this page, you can either look for your web for the testing center next to you, uh, or you uh, just go ahead and schedule your exam if you received our notice to schedule. That's a very important if because if you don't have the notice to schedule, you cannot schedule the exam because it's not in the system. So the first page you get is again information about scheduling, about testing accommodation, what to bring to the test center, and when to arrive, all that stuff, and again, the cancellation or rescheduling policy. Um, you click to this forward with this uh, forward arrow to the next screen and here you need to make sure that you accept the privacy policy because the exam is administered in a monitored environment for the integrity purposes uh, you and everybody else in that testing center are videotaped so we want to make sure you understand that and that's a prerequisite for taking our exam so you cannot go but forward until you confirm that you are 18 years of age and that you consent to the fact that you will be video monitored during your testing. Then you click forward and you get to the screen where you need to put your eligibility number. Eligibility number is the same as your CCHI ID number, which is located in the notice to schedule email right below your name in the text of that email. And I'm going to use a random person's number who is eligible to take the exam. And then you need to put the four uh, first letters of your last name. You click Submit, and here is the information showing you for which exam you're eligible. That This is for Course CHI. If you want to take the oral exam for right now, uh, we still don't have that set up yet, so in a couple of weeks uh, we'll announce when that scheduling is open, but right now it's only for Course CHI exam. And here the testing window means your eligibility for which dates you can, uh, what time period you can schedule the exam. The exam is administered seven days a week, depending on the availability at the test sites, but this period shows you your eligibility period, meaning that uh, after which date you cannot schedule any longer. Uh, and as you know, our course HI exam eligibility is six months, but because we had a period of uh, transition and the testing was not available, we extended that uh, eligibility period for everybody so that you all can ha have comfortable time scheduling your exam. So the duration 
of the exam shows you the duration of the exam appointment, which consists of about 30 minutes of uh, you know checking in, logging in, reading the directions, and two hours for the actual exam. And then you click Next. And here you are asked to put uh, your uh, geographical location. You can put city, zip code, state, whichever you want. I'm going to put my own zip code. And the start date. Uh, as I uh, just mentioned, we start testing on November 14th. That's the first day for which you can schedule the exam uh, after this uh, transition period. But uh, make sure that you plan to uh, and put your first day as the day you are really available for, let's say, I want to uh, study a little bit more. So I want to schedule somewhere from November 20th. And then you have you need to give this system two weeks period uh, so that uh, it can locate for you different um, appointments available in your area. So uh, I two weeks will take me to December. So I'm clicking here forward to December and through December fourth. So I want to have an appointment anytime between November twentieth and uh, December fourth. Then I click forward. And here are the appointment dates available uh, for, for me. And as you can see, there are different uh, locations. Um, the closest to me has November 20th available. Let me check what time. All right, I have. I wanted to have a morning appointment, so I can click on 11 o'clock. And as I uh, select this, you can see the, the color changes. And here on the right-hand side, you have the information that you selected. Uh, after that, you would click arrow forward and you get to the screen that confirms all the details. And as soon as you click submit, you uh, within an hour, you are getting a confirmation email that your appointment has been secured. Until you get that email, your appointment is not secured. So make sure you're looking for the email that is on file with CCHI from which you get our notice to schedule. That's the email address that is in the system and we do not allow you to change it because we want to make sure that uh, we keep all communication in one place. Uh, so I'm not going to click it now because I chose a real number of a real person uh, and uh, I don't want to schedule an appointment for them. So I'm going to close this and I'm going to just leave the page. Um, now, another way to find this page, uh, other than just searching on the ProMetric site, is actual CCHI's website. So if you go to our website, cchicertification.org, I suggest just use the search button and put here scheduling. And you get to our scheduling page, which tells you what are the parameters for rescheduling or canceling your appointment. And here where the Course HI test centers, if you click here for the uh, Prometric, uh, you will be able to find, uh, to get to that uh, landing page from which you can start scheduling process. And that's it. So I wish you the best of luck with uh, your testing and uh, hope that you are able to schedule and take the exam as soon as possible before the holidays start so you can have this sense of reward that you are finishing the year with achievement. Thank you very much and good luck.